Hello again. Um, the second video in my kit car series. Um, I, I'm not a fussy guy when it comes to uh, if something's a little bit off, uh, I'm okay with that. And what I mean in relation to this, or how that relates to this kit car, these kit cars are all made one at a time at the factory, okay? And then subsequently they're made like finished completely by people like myself. The thing about these kit cars are they're, they're welded up on jigs. The chassis, for example, are welded up on jigs and uh, they're measured and, and typically these jigs are very accurate, but a quarter inch error on a, on a weld or a placement of a, of, a, of a rod or bolt or, um, or a bar or stock or tube, a quarter inch at one end could translate to a larger error at the other end. And when I read about some of the uh, the builds that have gone on uh, on the web and some of the diaries, when I read some of these diaries, there's a lot of frustration that tends to come out from these guys. Now, they're all very happy with Factory 5. And the reason I chose Factory 5, it's the largest kit manufacturer in the world. They have an incredible support staff. They're established. They've been around for 20 years. Um, they produce a ton of kits, somewhere in the vicinity of 10 to 12 kits a week that they're sold in North America and abroad. Um, and they have a great online community for support. Part of that online community, or being, becoming part of that online community, part of that is, is getting feedback from other owners or other people who bought or built the kit that I'm building. And a lot of the frustration with the coupe in particular, because it has roof and doors and windows and all that sort of thing, is getting everything lined to fit upright. One thing I've noticed is, is some guys have commented that when they've actually measured it, their body, They've seen twists and bends along the, along the length of the body, and that can cause frustration down the road when you go to put the uh, the uh, the actual body shell on top of the chassis. I meant the chassis bend, by the way. Um, so if I'm aware of some of these twists and bends, and I can change them, then I will. If I'm at least aware of them, I can prepare myself for solutions, uh, the problems I'll probably expect when I put the body on. So what I did here, as you can see, uh, is I've tied a uh, landscaper string um, from one end of the car to the other. Twisted over the, the dash bar there and down back to the, uh, the very last cross member in the trunk that I've measured to be well within uh, 32nd of an inch where I've tied the, uh, the string. You can see here, I don't know if you, no, you can't see here, but um, the, the front I've tied right on the cross member at the front of the, uh, of the car. It's the first point, first middle point on the car, and it's right on the middle of the weld. So that's the middle of that piece. I've got it at the middle at the back, and I've got it middle halfway along. What I've done is I've measured every cross piece along and marked it with a, a white crayon. I'm going to draw up a plumb line to see if there's any wiggle in this body. Um, what I've noticed from online what I've noticed online is that a lot of folks have, have seen normally from an eighth to a quarter inch out along the length of the car. So I'm going to see how, how far I sit. I, I know looking at the roll bars, and perhaps in the video you can see, is that the roll bars are, aren't both level. One of them's off, or both of them are off, I'm not sure, but I'm not too fussed about that because there's actually a padding, head air padding between the body and the roll bar. So if it's a little tight on one side, that's not going to bother me so much. I am concerned though, or I'll, I'll have to work with the body on how it fits over the wheels, uh, because wheels all have to track straight, try to get the bodies to fit right. The body is another issue, I mean, the body is something that's it's, it's uh, molded fiberglass panels that are all glued together, and you're bound to get some variances in, in, in twists and looks and shapes and all that sort of thing. In fact, a lot of guys have noticed they've seen the bodies out by an inch on one side versus the other. It might be the flare of a wheel well compared from one side to the other. Um, so those are all things I'll have to deal with. I'm not about to rebody the car, but it's something I might be able to shim out or shim in um, to, to compensate a little bit for the for an optical illusion of some sort. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I'll be doing over uh, the next hour or so. And I'll see you in my next video.